Welcome to the cool room. Fire up some snacks and crank that recliner because today we're throwing some seriously sweet action your way. This week we pop a shoot with some skydiving nutbags. Kick up some grass with a bunch of gardening enthusiasts. Paddle downstream alongside some hardcore kayakers. And ride a few monsters with the big man himself, Andy Irons. With all this and much, much more, there's no place like the cool room. Over 200 riders flock to the wide flat sands of Latox Beach in France, all there to get a piece of some four-wheeled action. These fired up Frenchies kicked off the festivities with a standing start, legging it out before firing up their quad bikes. With this many participants involved, coming off your bike would be like joining a bull running contest with one leg. So these boys better hang on tight. These things look awesome. I've got to get me a quad bike. It's time to mow some lawn. I know what you're thinking. Shut your trap, Dad. I'll do it later. But if you're mowing around anything like these puppies, you'd be mowing the whole street. This guy wants to show us his dirty hog. Put it away, you filthy man. Chicks dig this style of lawn mowing. Not even nightfall is deterring these gardening enthusiasts. Just strap on a light and the mowing party keeps on pumping. You better believe it. One wrong move here and you're fertilizer. After spending a long night sitting on the lawnmower, these guys are starting to feel like Paris Hilton the morning after Mardi Gras. Africa is a continent of 53 independent countries, a rich mix of cultures, wildlife and history, not to mention some of the sweetest surf breaks on the planet. They say that this is where man first walked the earth. It would have sucked not having women back then, but hey, at least you would have been able to surf some killer breaks with the boys. Africa has around 300 recorded shark attacks to its name. So if the lions and hippos aren't getting you on the land and in the rivers, you can always count on a shark taking a bite in the ocean.
I wonder if the sharks are in the mood for some Asian cuisine, or will white meat be on the menu? Hey, you're gonna be dead someday. I'd rather be lunch for some killer shark than dinner for a bunch of fancy boy little worms. As a flip side to our African surf tour, we've got some New Zealand snowboarding to check out. The thing about snowboarding footage is that if it starts with a chopper, you know you're in for some good watching. Some of the best looking snow obstacles are all natural. I wish I could say the same for snowboarders. White powder as far as the eye can see, and no sign of any ski lift, RV or snotty little snow sled rider for miles. That's it, I'm going for my helicopter license. They've even teed up a picnic. I don't know if it's such a good idea attempting stunts with a helicopter for background decoration. One slip up and any one of these boys could be going home in that picnic basket. Australia is home to some of the world's deadliest creatures, but none are any more dangerous than our mountain bike courses. This course in the Snowy Mountains is one of the toughest ever devised and has attracted the world's best riders to negotiate its massive obstacles. This is a place where learning to break your back is like riding a bike. You never forget how to do it. So many injuries have happened on this track that some circles have dubbed it Brokeback Mountain. They've even made a blockbuster movie about two inseparable friends negotiating its rough terrain.
the riders in this event, most of the day was spent down in the dirt nursing their wounded limbs. But after riding a course like this one, they were lucky to still have limbs to wound at all. Kayaking has never really presented itself to me as an extreme sport, but after seeing some of these paddle jockeys in action, I'm starting to gain a different outlook on the whole thing. Ah, there's nothing like a roadside meat vendor to fill an empty stomach. Dodging jagged rocks while riding tons of moving water. I don't know what's more dangerous, kayaking or the rancid meat barbecue. Either way, if the kayaking doesn't kill you, you'll be wishing it had when the salmonella kicks in. A horse is a perfect addition to any kayaking trip. It can carry your kayaks around and double as a handy snack if the roadside meat vendor isn't around. This paddle-wielding maniac's just happy to be alive. Time for the big drop. After falls like this, kayakers need to know how to hold their breath. Sometimes they can be held underwater for minutes at a time. Time to head back to camp for some Bronco Burgers. Andy Irons, a wicked surfer in any condition, is quickly becoming one of surfing's all-time greats. Growing up in the beautiful surroundings of Kauai, Andy lived less than 50 metres away from the shore and took to the surf at a young age. Irons and his equally talented little brother Bruce would hit the surf whenever they could and with a competitive air between them, they were both destined to become pros. This year went so amazing, uh, I'm not really thinking about next year yet. Of course, uh, it's, it's going to come up really quick, but um, I'm looking forward to it. Every, the pressure was the hardest last year, so this year it was, was uh, a little easier, I, I was a little more comfortable, and um, hopefully next year it just gets a little more comfortable too, and I just kind of keep it on a roll. Taking out his first title while still in high school, and he had a rocky start. But after getting some experience under his belt, he went on to completely dominate the 02-04 to circuit, earning the name Mr. Consistency. This of course infuriating another member of the circuit, a Mr. John Consistency. And he's a dynamic surfer who can always draw a crowd, and I'm sure he doesn't have any troubles with the ladies. Yeah! 
Oh, it's been amazing. Yeah, I think amazing pretty much wraps it up. Like, it's unbelievable, really. Um, sometimes I'll go to a place and I'll get a good result, and I'll think, oh, you know, the next year's coming up. I've already had my good luck there. It's kind of hard to back up a really good result. But this place has just been an exception for me. I've never done well in uh, a contest like this um, this many years in a row. I mean, one year I'll do good, maybe the next year I'll lose first seat. So to make the final the last four years and actually win it three times, I mean, I'm just over the moon. I can't believe it. It's just too good to be true. I feel like I'm dreaming still. If I could have a dream like that, I'd wake up a happy man. Dude, consider yourself lucky. The Iron Man's got the moves and gaining popularity with every passing competition. This man's got talent coming out of the board shorts. Better tuck that talent back in, Andy. This is a family show. Good work, Andy, mate. Keep it up. This may look like some weirdo's rave party, but they're actually experienced skydivers preparing themselves to take a massive group jump. Down they go. As soon as they start falling, they're already getting into formation to pull off some wicked airborne choreography. Jeez, between weeping like a little girl and the intense concentration on keeping my jumpsuit clean, there's no way I could possibly remember all these formations. These guys are good. Hey guys, what's with the helmets? I'm tipping if you hit the ground at these speeds, it's not going to do you that much good. That ground's coming up pretty fast, boys. How about pulling that ripcord? The fellas are all smiles as they kick off the big air comp. Unlike snowboarders, skis have their legs separated, freeing them up to do some killer tricks. But it also allows their legs to get tangled up in the air, which can make for some pretty messy landings. Any 
anyone can pull off a spin in the air, it's a landing that makes these guys pros. And this is the new guy. Here's Ski Cam, all the thrills and none of the Bruce backside. Big Air Comps, known for their big airs and big knee reconstructions. He knows the score. We're out of time here at the Cool Room. Hope you had fun. Catch you next time.